What's up guys, Scott Lowe here. If you're buying a 3D TV this season, you're definitely going to want to hook up your PlayStation 3 for 3D games and 3D movies. It's a bit of a confusing process though, so we're going to take you through it step by step. First off, you've obviously got to connect your PlayStation 3 to your TV with an HDMI cable. Once that's done, fire up your PlayStation 3 and navigate over to the settings. From there you want to select display settings and then video output settings. Of course you're connected via HDMI, so go ahead and select that and then automatic so it can automatically determine the resolutions your display supports. After a few seconds this message will come up which is of course pretty standard for PlayStation 3. Of course you're going to want to confirm that it supports 1080p and then now it'll ask you how big your screen is and it says that it's capable of doing 3D. So we'll spare you the technical jargon but essentially what this does is it determines how to scale the PlayStation 3's 3D capabilities to the size of your display. So go ahead and confirm the size. It generally is automatically correct, but if not, make sure it's the right size. And then it'll bring you to the confirmation screen, and then you just hit enter. Then you're all set, so you just hit finish, and then you're back to the menu. Where you go from here varies largely on the game or Blu-ray you're viewing and the type of TV you have. For example, if we fire up Super Stardust HD, you can see that it asks you whether or not you want to play in 3D. Similarly, MotorStorm Pacific Rift 3D also asks you to enable 3D mode. On the other hand, games like Wipeout HD or MLB The Show rely on your 3D TV to toggle 3D mode. The same is true for most 3D Blu-rays we've used, including Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, Monsters vs. Aliens, and Monster House. How you enable your TV's 3D mode, again, varies on specific model. In the case of the two displays we have here, the Sony Bravi XBR H909 and Samsung LED 7000, the 3D systems are slightly different. The Sony model comes 3D ready, but users must buy a transmitter system and glasses to use it, which can be bought individually or in a bundle. The Samsung, however, comes with a transmitter built in, so all you need is a pair of glasses, which again also comes in bundled pairs. Each of these TVs comes with a dedicated 3D toggling button on the remote. This will either turn on 2D to 3D conversion, like so, or it'll access 3D content coming through the Blu-ray of the game. Once you've completed all these steps, all you need to do now is power on your glasses, fire up your game or Blu-ray, and enjoy rich, immersive 3D. For all the latest on 3D TVs, games, Blu-rays, and more, stay tuned to IGN.com.